Last Thursday, it was announced by the NCAA Division II President's Council that sports schedules would be shortened a bit for the upcoming 2021 season. MSU Athletic Director Andy Carter says while safety was the biggest concern, there were many other factors that came into play. Uh, you know, the reality is, is we still don't know, if, you know, are we going to, when we put students in a hotel room, how many can we put in there? Uh, we don't know how many, you know, if they, if they say fill only 50% capacity on a bus, you know, next thing you're taking four buses on a football trip rather than two. And so we don't know what those costs are going to look like. For Minot State Athletic Director Andy Carter, it's been a myriad of logistics as he and other ADs across the country try to formulate a plan for next fall. I'm on a, a committee with the NSIC and over the next three weeks we'll start looking at how our conference put schedules together to make sure that our teams can play within those new boundaries. Carter and other members of that committee not only have to try to figure out schedules, but are hoping that elimination of programs doesn't become an option. If we can save a little money here, here, and here, and then maybe we don't have to eliminate a program that we can no longer afford. The bottom line is trying to get sports seasons in, but it won't be easy to make it equitable. You know, if I lose a home game, that affects our, our revenue. If somebody else, uh, say, loses a road game, but what if it's Sioux Falls loses a road game to Augustana? Well, that counts as one of their five road games, but that doesn't cost them any money, right? So there's a lot of factors that go into this that we have to look at, and there, you know, it may come down to it. We just do a redraw, protect homecoming dates, and, and move forward.